slashed, but there we go. Oh, Did the numbers okay. count? So, <clears throat> what do I have to do about that? Anything? That means it's recording. Okay. Okay. I forget if it's this panel or the one on the bottom. There's two panels on this water here. Yeah, so this is the circuit breaker for the water heater. Now before I flip this switch here, it says turn power off first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I have to do that. Stay pointing there. Water heater. I'm gonna turn this off just to be safe. Okay. I'm not sure if I have to do that or not, but I'm going to hit this button. You heard that click? I heard the click. I'm pretty sure that means it blew the circuit breaker. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to come over here and turn the circuits back on on the electrical panel. So okay. Let me swing over this way. Show the electrical panel. I'm going to turn this hot water heater back on. Now I'm hoping we're going to hear... Amazing. <laughs> you're so, so hear, you're a genius, James. You hear some water coming in. Yeah. So some here's what I think happened based on the symptoms. You said you had very hot water. Yeah, suddenly. So my there's something happening where this is overheating inside and it it causes uh, the breaker to to trip. Yeah. As a safety, rather than overheating the whole unit. So. But the thing is, Jim, does water continue to flow in there? Because I was thinking that maybe the water stopped coming in and what was left was heated. Was getting too hot. Yeah. That could be. Because right now we hear water coming in. Right. So it might be something. They want to call this company. Me? No, me. Oh, good. <laughs> the landlord. The landlord. <laughs> All right. They would ask me a thousand questions of what I wouldn't be able to answer. I'm going to do a little searching on the internet. 